I'm the greatest samurai to ever roam these lands, the Veep Destroyer, on a quest to kill the legendary Elden Beast, because it's called my favorite anime meat. There is also some talk about a ring and it being shattered and scattered around the world. Who cares about those little side quests anyway? Elden Ring, game of the year like two years ago. I actually heard a lot of good things about this game and I finally got around to play it. It's my first Souls game so it might be a bit painful to watch. My first death was falling off of a bridge before I could even see an enemy. You already know how this one's gonna go, let's add the death counter somewhere on the screen. Deep Slayer uh, journey, it's gonna take a while. Our first enemy was a weird scorpion that I didn't even manage to hit once. It was for the blood though. After waking up I met some old dude who straight up told me to jump off a cliff. Rude but whatever. Down there was the start of the tutorial. It was gonna be easy. He won't hit me. What? <clears throat> Although it was a breeze, I forgot everything the game taught me as soon as I encountered the tutorial boss. Oh no. It wasn't too bad. I... I'll come back in a second. It's fine, it's fine. Second time around he seemed a lot easier and we could finally start the quest for world domination. Oh that was actually really easy. I don't know why I had to struggle first time I tried him. Beep Slayer uh, moves. And we're outside Limgrave. I discovered the Lost Grace, which is basically like a save point campfire thingy. Now, this old fool told me I ain't getting any bitches. I think he's just jealous, to be honest. He continued talking about the castle and some no name Godric, but my attention slowly shifted to Mr. Sir Lancelot, who's walking around like he owns the place. That's something you just can't do in the presence of the mighty samurai. Oh yeah. After a pleasant meeting with the owner of these lands, we made our way to the Church of Ele, where we met Santa Claus from Walmart and bought some really useful things which I definitely didn't forget about for the rest of the video. It was time to explore the lands of Limgrave, where I killed some zombie villagers and had a life and death battle with a mosquito, which ended in a draw. I don't wanna talk about it. Feeling adventurous, I went into the Grove Street cave. In there I had to kill a couple of wolves. <clears throat> we made it to the end of the cave where Azula Beastman was waiting for us and well, I'm out of flasks. We almost made it. Then again I had to kill a couple of wolves. Then again I had to kill a couple of wolves. Azul guy didn't seem to like me that much. Then again I had to kill a couple of wolves. And I killed him. Easy. Welcome to poverty gameplay. Out of the cave we headed east to the gate from the ruins, in which I went on a killing spree until the site manager showed up. Oh no no no. Oh I think I messed up a little. Need to get rid of at least one. Whoa 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 yeah, yeah. stubby stubby. I think. Yeah 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 yeah. And that's just unfair. And after messing with the wrong hood again, my side chick showed up. Have you heard of the finger maidens? She talked about maidens and fingering and fingering maidens and I was sold at that point so let's just move on. Oh and she gave me a ring to summon a horse. I wasn't quite done with the ruins just yet and I went down to the basement to get my first skill. It only took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to use it and I was ready to take on the camp once again. Okay never mind that shit's useless. It was time to dip as I headed to Stormgate but the people there didn't seem welcoming. They're already shooting at me. And even a titan showed up and straight up stomped me to death. Which gave me this brilliant idea. Titan Loki, what the f Fuck off already. Brother. Then we travelled back to Church of Ele, where a witch was waiting for us. She gave us wolf summons that could help me, and so far I needed all the help I could get. Back to Lingrave, I killed a couple of baddies and Batman himself showed up. What? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Not gonna lie. While I was fighting for my freaking life, some weird guy from the bushes started shouting at me. After the fight, I went back to the crime scene, hit a couple of bushes and some weird gremlin looking ass thing popped out. Apparently he could jump and once his stuff back, but needs some time to hype himself up. We just gonna leave him there for a bit. So I went to fight a camp of bandits, brought back my grandma's cooking book and killed this blind guy just because. I went back to the place where our gremlin friend appeared and couldn't find him there. 
Turns out he went all the way to the coastal cave. On our way there we had some unfinished business to do with the local landlord. The problem was I couldn't figure out how to call out wolves playing on keyboard. So I ditched it, plugged in controller cause obviously that was the reason for me being so bad at this game. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, now back to the cave where our gremlin friend was, just to find him doing the best impression of myself every morning. Turns out my guy got jumped again and just keeps taking L's at this point. Kinda like me, maybe that's why we're friends. And as friends do, I just had to help him. Having to fight in a pitch dark cave, I couldn't help but think that the torch would be really useful right about now. Since we're all friends now, I summoned another friend, Ivan. And with the power of friendship, we were unstoppable. A bit about my friend Ivan. His two favorite activities are squatting and drinking vodka. Anyway, while returning the last property to my gremlin friend, I realized that I did all that for a sewing needle. And now he wants to make dresses or whatever. And he's actually kind of weird. And I've been saying the word friends quite a bit. And I'm done with this friendship thing for now. Now that I think back, I have no idea what was the purpose of that quest. If you have any idea, just let me know. Since I was scared to continue to the castle because of the titan, my only option was to explore the close by lands where I met my arch nemesis once again. Now this is over. Even if I had to run for my life like a fucking pussy, it did not mean I was done with killing Batman. I'm still alive! Still alive somehow? Never mind. After a couple failed attempts and my sanity is shifting closer to that of the Joker, it was time to unleash Harley Quinn herself in hopes that she could release me from the suffering. Hello! Oh my god! <laughs> where, where did the horsey go? <laughs> uh, no, no, block, block or something. Jump, 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 hit. <laughs> wow! I'm doing something, huh? Wow. Uh, uh, professional gamer moves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will try again. Uh, fuck right off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god. No! Ah, oh, no. Run! No, no, run! Look at me, go! Yep, yep, yep. I, I don't remember how am I supposed to heal. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't remember, uh, remember the controls. But seems easy. <laughs> Clearly being way too weak to take Batman down, I made my way to the Stormfoot catacombs in order to farm some easier opponents. The cave itself was filled with the gremlins and traps. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then I forgot how sprinting works. Twice. And then I got clawed by goblins. Twice. Finally getting past the fire traps, I found a useless mask that just says hello. Despite my struggles, I was really enjoying the game so far. Rock this game, seriously. <laughs> found some new summons and was saved by the gremlins own traps. Fuck you. Pulled the lever and was off to fight the Burial Watchdog, which was actually a big cat. Weird looking. What the? And I got clapped. The second time around, the fight was really close. So close, in fact, I clenched my butt to the point where I couldn't move anymore and also died. Then I killed it and got even more summons. Back to Limgrave event, and this time for sure I was ready to take on the Black Knight. Yes, and my horse is dead. What the fuck? Yeah, never mind. Moving on. I found two titans pulling a card and decided to mess with them a little. What? Where did you come from? Hell no. 
until a wannabe Batman showed up and pulled the most bullshit fucking move out of his ass to finish me off. He killed me. Mm. Went back, killed all the zombie villagers. The last titan broke free, but with my samurai moves I jumped in and chopped his dick off. For the reward, an axe I couldn't use. Great. At that point I was right next to the waypoint ruins and apparently there is a sorcerer in the basement that could teach me some magic. Since I wanna do cool anime attacks with my sword, I decided to meet her. Just had to take care of her guard first. I asked her to teach me magic and she was like, yeah sure, no problems. And when it was time to learn something, she went, Boy, dumb as hell, get your ass out of here. I could not believe the audacity of this bitch and being petty as fuck, I destroyed her garden. Venturing down south, I thought to myself, you know what would be nice right now? Crab sticks. So I died four more times trying to kill this huge crab for no reason. A gang war started just outside of Mr. Krabs' residence. Luckily, I could resolve the incident peacefully. Back east, I had to take care of a small homeless problem and found the glimstone stuff. Due to my relationship with the sorcerer, only thing I could do with it is shove it up my ass. Back to the Krabs event to gain a new skill, unsheet. Maybe with this I could unsheet my pen. Now, I was a little lost at this point, but after venturing around for a bit, I met a guy wearing an umbrella. He advised me to be wary of a dragon around these parts, and after getting bullied by a crab, I wasn't ready to take on dragons anyway. No, 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 no. After getting rid of the dragon, we made our way to the dragonborn ruins. While clearing out the area of baddies, I almost lost a 1v1 against an old dog. Down underground we went, where I went full Leonardo mode and showed Master Splinter my new moves. In the secret room was what appeared to be Snoop Dogg's lost treasure, and I went on the hardest trip of my life. Not knowing where I ended up and without any visible ways to get out, I thought I might as well fight my way out of here. And after about 3 hits I did to the first enemy. Oh no, that did no damage. Things didn't seem promising. And after a big centipede showed up. Oh no no, what the? Things went from bad to worse. And then things went from worse to disastrous because there was 4 of them. I made a run for it. Found the lost grace. Turns out I was miles away from Limgrave and I couldn't fast travel anywhere. Out we went and since I need all the runes for level ups, I might as well kill all the small mobs I see. Since I need to get out of here alive, I might as well ignore all the small mobs I see. I did adopt a rat infested dog though. After finding a campfire, I couldn't wait to get out of this place. But my side chick showed up. She said it was all a test to see if I was... <laughs> She's... She, she said if it, she, she shed, she shed, motherfuck. She said it was all a test to see if I was faithful, even though she's a side piece. I don't know what that was all about. She wants to take me to the round table hold, not like I had a choice anyway. We made the most zoomed in handshake ever and teleported to the table that seemed to be a round table. Back to Limgrave event, and now that I have made my life's goal to defeat the Night Knight, but lacked skills to do so, I made my way down to Forlorn Hound Evergoal to fight Mr. Darville. I see how this. Wait, 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 wait. He's kind of fast. Not gonna lie. He's too fast. Ooh. Okay. But he's doable. Only doable thing in this scenario turned out to be my ass as I died 12 times in a row and almost lost my sanity. At one point I even tried doing a no hit challenge but instead of not getting hit I decided to not hit him at all. Feeling hopeless I went back to fighting Batman for the... what was it like 17th time? <laughs> if only I could get him off his horse the fight should be winnable. With one hit away from falling, he killed me. Then I fell off a bridge. <gasps> then I got him one hit away from falling and almost broke down crying. No! <laughs> For this one I blamed the game. No! How did that hit me? And then it finally happened. He was off his horse. The victory was mine at last. Hey, that's not fair. What the fuck? Not even close. <sighs> After struggling for so long, I, the best samurai there was, 
the Weeb Destroyer, got no choice but to ask help to my true master, Sensei if you will. It's you, it's YouTube. I was watching guides. There was a couple of things I could still do to salvage the quest for revenge. The insults I had to listen to shall not be unanswered. If there was one thing I learned from anime, a true samurai never gives up. So we made our way to the third church of America. Picked up a crystal tear, another healing flask and a sacred tear for more health and stamina. Also went down to the minor red tree for two more tears. Took a portal from American church to the middle of nowhere where I could farm runes for level ups. Since the only thing I was leveling so far was dexterity, my survivability was almost non-existent. Farming these little guys was somewhat easy cause I could kill them with just two hits if they didn't notice me. If they did however, they insta killed me. And farming event. Now with my stats seemingly fixed, we went all the way to the dead touch catacombs to get the second katana. It's the same one I already had but now I can do cool moves like these. And I only died once in there. I wasn't done with the cave just yet, so back in we went to test out my katanas against an average London citizen. After taking care of him, I made my way to Limgrave Tunnels. From there we needed smithing stones in order to upgrade both of my katanas. Here my worst enemy was apparently fall damage. <gasps> Oh no! <gasps> I didn't jump again! No! Come on! After getting most of the smithing stones from the tunnel, we went to the Bridge of Sacrifice for 3 more and back to Church of Ele to upgrade both swords to level 3. I was finally ready to get my rent deposit back and challenged Sir Lancelot for the last time. Come on, hit him! Oh! Run out of stamina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, yeah? That's it? Ooh! <laughs> Easy. After taking care of the landlord problems, there were still two enemies I had to deal with before I could start my journey to Stormwell Castle, the Black Knight and the Crawling Darwin. Oh. Oh. Hold it, hold it. No. Hold up, hold up. Come on, dash. Let's see. I'm getting outplayed. Oh. <gasps> Sheesh. That was a lot closer than it should have been. It was finally time to face my arch enemy. Even though I'm a lot stronger this time around, I knew the fight won't be easy. Let's see. There he is. Come, your time ends here. Okay. Yo, that's cheating. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I hate that attack. I don't have any heals. You're not helping. Whoa, I'm getting inted over here. No, no, no! Dash! Oh, I need to get him back here or he'll despawn. Whoa! What are you doing here? No. You fuck! Since the small fry like to get in my way, I wanted to get rid of them beforehand. What? No, no. no. Unsuccessfully. Unfortunately, they spawn back in all the time, meaning I had to deal with the Black Rider before they could arrive at the bridge. Oh great, I think, oh no, never mind, okay, but someone else is here, um. The fight went on and with the army slowly approaching, I pulled the fight back to the bridge. The nighty knight realized that I have become too strong and just left. 
What? And then, with only a couple hits away from victory, I fell off. Are you fucking kidding me? Touched. Okay, let's let's go back. Don't you dare jump off. Come on. Come back. Or jump. I don't care. Oh, I jumped. I did not mean to jump. Why is the boss fight on fucking bridge? Please. I am losing my mind. And after a bit more suffering, we finally had a fair 1v1. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Bro. Ooh. That is not how it was supposed to start, you know? Okay, now we're ready. This is it. Just you and me. I cannot hit anything. I don't have stamina. Come on, bro. Oh, the fuck. Fuck off. Okay, he's almost off his horse. He... Uh, come back, come back. No, no, no. Don't tell me he healed. He didn't heal. He did not heal. I'm um, cheating, maybe. Yeah, let's get off the bridge this time. I don't like that move from you. Like that one either. Okay, this time for sure. <sighs> oh, don't choke it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just one more hit. Oh, I can't. Finally. Finally. Weeping thirst. Okay. With my nemesis gone, I could make my way to the castle, though we'll leave that for the next time.